Tonight, an NBC 15 News investigation getting results to keep your children safe. Today, we saw repairmen working at Alba Middle School after we exposed holes in the roof leaking into six classrooms. You can see the damage in this drone video. The biggest concern for parents is the potential for toxic mold. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro has another reality check. Cassie, what is the district doing about it? Well, Kim, we've been asking for days about the leaks and what's being done to repair them. Today, Mobile County Public Schools finally told us it will test for mold this week. This is the video from a whistleblower that started our investigation, gaping holes in the middle of the school's roof. Parents feared the 500 students here in Bayou Levatchery are being exposed to mold created by all the moisture. Especially down here with all the humidity, um, mold is definitely something that you do need to worry about. Yeah, because they can have asthma. Kids could get sick. There's holes and stuff leaking out the school for the kids. It might be mold or anything. Come on, so yeah, they need to they need to do something about that. Today, Mobile County Public Schools spokesperson Renee Phillips told me on the phone the district is also worried about possible mold and will conduct air quality testing. That helps parents breathe a little easier. Yeah, that is a relief that they're getting that taken care of. For now, students have moved out of the six leaking classrooms into the lower level of the school. We've also shown you empty portables on campus. Today we learned those are being fixed up this week to give students safe spaces while the roof repairs are completed by district workers. Says it didn't know about the problem until we started investigating. Today the whistleblower who told us about the hole says she didn't think any of this would have happened without our reality check. Kim and Gray, 